just seven minutes out. This week we designed uh, the program to be Beach Week. Kind of want to uh, change things up a bit and get outdoors again and uh, use the elements that surround Long Island. Uh, the beauty of the beach definitely will change the mindset. A different route to the gym, I guess. When we say go, basically you run out to that pylon and straight back. Out to that pylon, straight back. Out to this one, back, that one, back. Very simple, 40 seconds. So the idea when I was designing these workouts for Steve was to try to give the kids um, a little bit of a different feel. What they're doing behind us is a, an interval workout on the beach and it's, it gets them, from an athletic standpoint, changing directions, changing levels, training, training muscles that they don't normally train. We have been doing workouts in the sand and doing different kinds of agility, ladders, um, hurdles to, that would normally be difficult on turf, now it's even more difficult on sand. Running with parachute to the lifeguard stand and that was definitely the hardest one, pulling the wind. It's a different environment. We have the water, nice view, a nice breeze. The turf is, gets really hot, and we have good days, nice and cloudy. We don't get too hot, it's just right. The sand feels nice. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's different, it's unique. After, I, just, I jumped in the water, and it's, it's refreshing, and it's just a nice atmosphere. After trail week with my athlete, Tommy came up with the idea to run across the island east to west, so we ran out 56 miles, and it took us 13 hours, but it was uh, pretty rewarding. I was kind of stunned for a second there, but I really found out they were really serious. It was now, okay, well, how do we set them up to, to make sure they had the best possible opportunity to finish such an ultra event like this? In order to execute, we had our polar heart monitors on that we talked about earlier, and they told us our heart rate, so if our heart rates were too high in the 90s, say, we had to drop it, slow down and drop down to like the 60s or 70s, because if we burnt ourselves out too quick, we wouldn't have been able to complete it. So that helped us listen to our bodies, and whenever we felt a little hungry, we had to eat a nutrition bar at least every hour. Without, if we didn't keep off our nutrition, we wouldn't have been able to keep going. Even if we weren't hungry, we had to eat a bar. Steve was definitely a big help. He motivated us a lot. Steve met up with us for four miles, motivated us, rode with us for about five or six miles, and without all their support, we wouldn't have been able to complete it. I ran two marathons in one day. No one could really do that. It's a huge feat. And I'll think back as, it, as I stuck to my goal. Knowing that Tom and Nick ran 56 miles, it's really like astonishing. And I, I'm really proud of them. Very inspiring to watch Tommy and Nick were very motivating to you know, a lot of people out there. And the, the, just from their actions, just from doing something, they motivated a lot of other people. And that's very powerful.